Welcome, welcome, welcome. Another episode of Rails the Car Guy. Today, we're changing the driver's side and passenger side axles to a 2011 Mercedes. It's an E350. E350. First thing you do is take the tire off. Second thing you do is pop this cap off. And then we're going to take these two bolts out and let me look at everything first you don't want a lot of tension on this uh, we're gonna pop this plastic clip off and move this so you got room for that to play around so once you take these two bolts out it don't pull on this brake line right here so let me get to it and I'll be right back Okay, I took this cap was on here. I took that off. These two bolts are 14 millimeter. It's 13 sixteenths. Set it up like so. This one goes on here. Shit, get on there. That one went on there like that, just to hold that side. Fourteen millimeter on this side. Take the top and bottom one, but don't take them loose just yet. Pull this little pin out, loosen this up, so this have room, room, wiggle room. Okay. Now we're gonna tackle this boat. Let's see what that is. What is this? Look like a 19 millimeter, if you ask me. It's too loose, you don't want nothing that loose. I'll be back. Next, take that boat off. And I'll loosen that cover at the bottom so you can get to the back of this axle. It's a bunch of eight millimeter screws and you ain't there and you drop the cover. Okay, you want to break this screw loose. It was a three-fourths. I used a 12-point socket so it fits nice and snug. Uh, I put this right here to stop turning it so it would not spin on me. And it was tough, man. It pow, finally broke it loose. I used a nice big breaker bar. And I was able to get it loose or a nice big uh, ratchet like that. Hey, it's all in the tools, man. Get that off of there. That frees the bolt in the front of the axle so you can push that out once you get everything loose. Now, after you got all this loose, the lines are loose, you can work on these two, that bolt and that bolt that holds this together. And let's get those off of there. Sorry, but I never finished that video, but those two bolts that I was talking about, I end up uh, taking those two bolts out of the strut and it allows that to fall down. You don't got to remove the rotor. You don't got to take the caliper off. You don't got to do none of that. Let it just hang down enough. It's going to just hang down enough. It's not going to fall to the ground. It's going to hang down. And then you press out the uh, CV axle out of the rotor. Press it out. And you can have the axle now in your hand dangling around. But don't pull on the axle to try to yank it out of the socket in the back what you want to do is slide up under the car slide some crowbar up in there until you, until it hits the um, back of that axle and just pop it out of the socket because it has a pin that locks it into that socket so you need to be able to pop that pin forward and once you pop that pin forward it'll slide out you can move it out of there put the new one in when you're putting the new one in you want to make sure that you jam it in until it snaps that pin back in that socket so you push it in until it clicks until it gets all the way back and then you can put the front of it back inside the rotor and push it up uh, press up the rotor straight so you can start one of those bolts that you took off the uh, 14 millimeter 
bolts that held the rotor the um, rotor in place onto the strut onto the shock you push that up and slide one of those screws in so at least it's holding up there and then you want to start that middle screw that's uh on that axle you want to screw that a little bit so the axle don't slide back out of that and then you tighten those two bolts back up on that rotor and then after you tighten those two bolts back up then you tighten that um um shit man tighten the axle bolt back up which is a three-fourths or a 19 millimeter socket that goes on there tighten that back down stick that uh shit man, plastic thing back up you know with the brake line and shit that was holding the brake line put that back on there screw that center bolt tight stick that cap that came off the middle of it put that cap back on put the tire on you're done man he pumped the brakes like five or six seven times to make sure your brake pressure is still there hey since we were snatching shit apart down there pump the brakes like five or six times make sure that pressure is still there put that tire on man you're done man you're good as gold and that shit is not as hard as it looked the only hard part for me was to pop that out that socket so i had to slide up under the car put something in there up in there you know behind that fucking uh cv axle the back end of it to pop it out the socket but as soon as you get that out of there it man you're golden from there thanks for watching rails the car guy subscribe to my channel subscribe 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 right there right there subscribe thanks